Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't got a uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And uh, this is the host code that's unique to me. So if you want to purchase anything in October only, if you use this hostess code, then uh, it will come under me so that... Um, you will get rewarded by me so um what i'm offering this month is to make this beautiful um tag uh kit for christmas um so you'll get everything you need to put the tag together so it will make three tags including this box so you can give this as a gift or uh, keep it yourself for christmas um I'm calling it silver and gold. So when you've placed an order with me, I'll either get in touch with you or you can get in touch with me. And uh, you can choose to have the gold. I'm calling this one and I'm calling this the silver one. Uh, I cannot give you the um, tags already done, the sentiments already done. I've given you the card to be able to do your own sentiment, so um, that's something I'm not allowed to do. I can give you the die cuts, the ribbon, the DSP, everything else I can give you, but I cannot do the um, the stamped images for you. So uh, if you want to do the same as me, this is from Clearance currently. Uh, it's called Christmas Punch Box. You get a punch in it, six stamps. Um, two ink spots, uh, a block for stamping, so and a beautiful tin. Uh, this stamp set is for unto us, and it is in the current um, winter catalogue. Uh, the Merry Christmas is from the Joy of Sharing, which is in the um, also in clearance, but you could use your own if you've got a, a stamp that's the right size for this um or any sentiment you want to put there or on here so you've got the card in the pack with all the ribbon and everything to do your own so you just have to uh, purchase with me and use that hostess code in october and those uh, gifts will be yours plus um depending on how much you spend uh they will be uh, you will get a product of stamping up but um, the greater value the product you get, uh, the more money you spend. So uh, that's what the gold tag looks like. I've not put uh, the ribbon. I keep forgetting about putting the ribbon in. OK, so I will just leave that for a second uh, so that you can take note of that to write that down. So five, four, three, two, one or take a screenshot. Thank you. Right. So today we are uh, going to use again the card base of um, the um, impressions in inks paper pumpkin i've absolutely loved this um, set it's been fantastic i'm just going to rip this paper in half because um, i have decided I want to protect, so I'm going to protect this side. So I've got this card base. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to protect this side with that. And I'm going to place this underneath to protect my mat. And then I'm going to use the green and use the stamp from the um, set. So I'm going to, uh, look for just done with that, not let it fall on the floor. I Here we go, I've got it in the other hand. I just am um, so in love with this stamp set. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's well worth getting the, the paper pumpkin for this stamp set alone. So don't forget, once you've used everything in the um, paper pumpkin set, then you have still got your stamps and, of course, you've still got your inks to carry on with. So you just need to buy yourself some plain cards and away you go again, making all different things. Uh, it would be good to get some uh, more um, ink colours. Uh, 
if you want ink spots, if you get in touch with me, uh, I can uh, tell you what in ink spots that I do have. Oh, and now uh, that's not worked out very well, has it? So the thing with photopolymer stamps is that you are better on a spongier surface. Uh, underneath my tablecloth, I uh, have got... Um, kind of a spongy surface so you are better off on a spongy surface so it's um we sell the stamping uh mats and i have got one um i should have really got it out and put it on i always forget but it's just a beautiful beautiful um stamp set so loving it okay so just keep turning your stamp to fit now you can see i'm getting the perfect stamp every time because of that cushioning underneath so uh, but i just forgot that um to get it out so i'm going to do that uh, it's a lovely colour, this green as well. So, it's quite striking. So, I just want to do this in between, uh, sorry, in, on the inside of this side of the card because when we actually do what we're going to do, this will uh, come over now i've got a problem with that one but i'm not going to worry too much about it uh, if i go back in and try and stamp it it could double because i've not used a stamping apparatus to do that okay i'll just move that stamp out of the way and then i'm going to go back in and use this little stamp uh, just loving this one as well because this just turn it round and just go in and just fill in all uh, the white bits with this. So just any way you want. Don't forget to do some. Oh, sorry, I'm out of shot. Uh, just turning it all the time, different ways. There we go doesn't matter if you overlap anything either that's perfectly fine uh, and that going there so i've put that one in there now so it disguises uh, that there was a mistake there now so there's no mistakes in crafting there is just opportunities for more creativity that's my motto okay just there you can just that there so anywhere you see in a white space just go in and do that will be absolutely fine now okay so we've left all this blank now so that's great and uh, just move this out of the way and i'm just going to get hold of my chamois uh, and just wipe my block so i'm just wiping my block and my fingers a bit right now we had to do that stamping first because what I want to do is I want to measure halfway between this point. So this is five and a half. So half of five is two and a half. Half of that is quarter. So that's you're talking about two and three quarters. And I'm going to cut down... Uh, about one and three quarters so i've come two and three quarters here and then i've used my ruler on the side and come down to two and three quarters and i use on the side of my trimmer let's see if you can see i've got the mark so i 
brought it down to one and three quarters like that okay now i'm just going to get my bone folder and i can bring back in my mat now so i want to burnish my card as normal now so i'm going to burnish the card as normal and then we're going to pull this back making sure that we have got a crisp corner okay so i want that corner to be crisp so i'm doing that now it's up to you whether you want your card to be suspended um so you want to uh just put uh, a couple of glue dots on there and and a bit of glue around it to hold that um i'm going to use my um my strong adhesive tape for this so uh what have i done with my scissors i don't like to use my best scissors for this so i'm just going to cut about that much of the adhesive tape and i'm just gonna put that in the corner there so i've just put it in the corner there just burnish it down and Grab my take your pick tool and that will then come back. So I'm going to just press that down then and just really burnish that down. Okay, so that's going to be burnished down like that. And then I'm going to do the same. So I'm just folding it over, but I'm just looking at this corner and you could use your bone folder there to just make sure that that's more of a crisp corner and i'm just going over with my bone folder just to give it a little bit of flatness there so that we've got that going like that and then i'm just going to again put that um uh in the corner there and oops nearly put it on the wrong side i'm going to put that again on the back side then and uh just bring that bit of release tape off again uh, okay and and just burnish that down so now you see why i wanted to do the pattern so we've got a little bit more pattern showing there right now uh, because the this um, tag is edged in green i wanted the tag to go on there now we've got on here sending hooks so i'm going to use the sending hooks so I just need to find my block, put it down, yeah, and just going to ink up my sending hooks. So just going to ink up that, make sure it's well inked up. And again, I'm going to make sure it's on a cushioned surface. So just going to do that. okay and i'm going to cut this because i don't want uh, it to go off the edge of the card so i'm just going to shall i cut it in? No, I'll, I'll just try with a straight line so sending hooks i don't think i got that very straight should have done it with my trimmer I'm not very good at getting the line straight. That will be fine there. Okay. I uh, I want to all send in hooks. Um, I think I will leave that um, as that and have it just plain there. Uh, I'm going to do myself a bow so we've got a 
bow oh dear i've got ink on my fingers so i must be careful otherwise my card will be an inky mess so oops that's a bit too much so i'll just start again don't want it massive going in there uh, there we go uh, there we go and just cut that off for the moment so I can have my bow coming at an angle maybe going like that now this is a bit bare here so um, I think what I'm going to do is do something a bit different is I'm going to bring back in let's get rid of those I'm going to bring back in this lovely um, splotty one as I keep calling it and I'm going to use my green ink again and I'm going to just put that paper back on again so I'm going to see whereabouts this needs to be so it's about I think it's about there let's I need that straighter edge so I'm going to take this I need to see where that's going so if that's there that's going to go about there so I want to keep that there so I'll have to make sure that that is is straight and I think I'll just risk it okay so we're going to ink up our splodge and go around the corner I'm going to get my table in a mess but I'm holding this firmly down so that it's not going to move anywhere so I'm just holding it with my hand I'm moving my my uh, hands around so that it's getting different angles okay now I think that was not quite straight so I'm just going to straighten that all up and just go back in and take some down the edge that's it there we go take that off okay so i've got my border that not sure that that is straight again but just make sure you get it straight i think that's okay and uh, let's do some of the little flowers now so we'll put some or shall we no i think i'll leave i'll leave the little flowers i won't do that i think we'll just um oh yeah i've got an idea so when I say little flowers, I've changed my mind to what little flower. So I'm using the tiniest flower now. What I'm going to do is start where that middle point is. I think it's there. And I'm going to try, see if I can... Just go up here with a border. Just like that. There we go. And then just come down. There we go. 
so we've gone down a border there like that so we can then write in there and just going to give it a second or two to dry off and then let's stick this up on dimensionals so just put the lid on my ink and get some of the dimensionals but right, i've got mine hand to hand so i'll not bother with those in the book box should i say so i'm just going to put uh, i think i'll have three dimensionals going on here so we've got three dimensionals and just I'm going to put this so it's in the middle there okay and where's my bow that I've just done moved it somewhere now oh I've got that on the back right so this is what I say about there's no mistakes now what I will actually do is cover this and then I will print all on the back of this card so that you won't see that in the finish. So we've got this. That's why I should have brought my board back up there like that. So that won't happen now. OK, so that's, I think that's there. What have I done with that bow now? There we go. So I need a glue dot. So, uh just need to get a glue dot. Yeah. So I'll get a glue dot for on the back of there. So of course you've got them in your um, kit. So I'm just going to use one. These are rather big. I prefer the ones in the kit, but uh, I've put them in my travelling stuff. So I'm going to just have this coming off the end so that we've got it going in there so it's going in there and we've got our bow going in there and then we've got some sprigs so I wanted to have a look how our sprigs looked so I thought we could put one coming down here so I'm just going to glue that coming down there so just pop the glue on there and then let my sprig kind of follow from coming down there so we've got that like that and let's, I've not got any more of the green left. Um, the pink, I think, I ought to have done it actually the other way round. I should have had the pink at the bottom and the green at the top, I think. Um, not sure whether this is going to now work out for me because I need to put that down there. Let's see, it might, I might just get away with it. So I think that needs to go at the top. So I'll just pop a little bit more glue back on it. And hopefully, so it's kind of going the wrong way now. But I think we'll, we'll go for it going like that, I think. And then this has got some to pop out. Just going to make this a stalk rather than it having that little bit there let's see if i can get that back in there yeah i think so so we'll have that going with just a few little bobs on here and bring that back in to go under there i think that's working out in the same area so that that's that's going there okay so then we've got some sequins. So uh, what have I done with my sequins now? Got them. Where have I put them? There we go. Where is it? So I've 
I'll get some sequins. Use my pick, take your pick tool to get under underneath. I'm going to I put them on. I think I'm going to put them randomly actually. There. There we'll get one on that splodge there. And we'll just have one up here. Okay. So there we go. We've got sending hooks and inside we've got the beautiful green going off. And then you can write your note in there. Now I could make this uh, more of a solid line, which I'll do off camera so that that's more of a solid line going down there. Uh, hope you like that. That's something different um, than the advertised ones with the paper pumpkin. Uh, I have just got one more video to do and then I have used up all the card base in the kit. But everything I've done apart from one card that I've made with this one where I did actually use the uh, Fresh Freesia ink and uh, I didn't want to do it again but you could have used the Fresh Freesia ink that would have looked very nice doing the flowers there. And it would have looked nice doing this as well. And all these flowers in the fresh freesia, uh, that would have looked nice. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, appreciate that you stopped by to watch me. Uh, stay safe, stay well. Thank you. Bye.